You see, public axo, matso, fatso, again, is trying to use my name for his own publicity because he knows that he's a loser. He knows that he has no talent. Hey, ratso, public axo, fatso, ratso, you can't compete against a New Yorker. Oh, you're trying real hard, but you're going to wind up on the short end of the fucking stick. Because you don't have the balls or the guts or the talent. You All you can do is put people to sleep. That's all you're good for. Bore people. I've had plenty of, well, not plenty. That's an understatement. I've had a few friends. So that's how we talk. We use slang language in New York. Some you wouldn't understand, you fucking douchebag, white trash, redneck douchebag. Well, New Hampshire redneck douchebag hillbilly. That's something you don't understand. And again, yes, it's true. I'm having a senior moment because I forgot what the point of this thing is. But you know what? I make my point very clear and very clear that you can't compete with a New Yorker like me. Okay? I'm the winner and you're a fucking loser. Number one, I'm a pure internet station. I don't need to suck dick for milk money like you do over there, WMNH, sucking dick from your boss, sucking dick from your program director because they want you to play ball. Well, fine, public axo ratso. If you think your station is so fucking great and it's so fucking good, well, I got news for you, buddy. It isn't. It is a public access radio station that happens to have an FM transmitter has a public access channel in the New Hampshire cable system as I try to straighten out my phone over here. Uh, I wouldn't brag if I was you. And there's nothing for me to be jealous of when I have, okay, the internet. I've already got more likes and more hits. 2,000 to be precise on my Facecraft page. That's right. 2,000 hits. And I have it to prove, I will put it on my website when it's time. I will make you eat your words. As a matter of fact, I'm making you eat your words now. Matt, cut your shit, okay? You're a coward. You don't want to fucking debate me. You're chicken shit. And the only debate's going to be on my fucking platform. Ain't going to be on your fucking platform, okay? Because you think you're so fucking superior. And you think that I'm jealous of your fucking piece of shit radio station. And that you're on an FM band, not a fucking chance. So if you're so fucking superior, you come to my fucking platform, thecrazyjoeshow.com. We'll fucking make an arrangement and we'll see if you show up. Because let me tell you something. You ain't going to show up. I'll rip your fucking asshole in three fucking seconds. I've been very nice to you, Matt. But now the gloves are coming off and I'm not going to be so fucking nice to you now. Because you're just a jealous weasel. That's all you are. You're a jealous fucking weasel. And you're not, you are never compete with me. Never. There is no competition between us. I am not going to be jealous of a fucking hack like you. With over 50 years of electronic communication experience. I've put more people off the fucking radio than any other CB or in the history of CB fucking radio. I'd be in the fucking... If there was a CB Radio Hall of Fame, I'd be there. Now, I'm moving up the broadcaster ranks. And I should... And, I, and, and let me tell you something. First of all, you people in New Hampshire are a bunch of fucking retard cocksuckers, okay? I never said that Matt Connington gets $350 a show. That would be... No. No fucking way. I said he makes three fifty an hour if he's lucky, okay. And there was something else I said. Uh, oh, about my five year plan. That's right. I have a five year plan, and in five years, I will make it. If I don't, I did the best I could. But I have a five year plan to be one of the top internet broadcasters of all time. I'm going to be in the same league as Howard Stern, okay. And I hate to use that man's name because he is a hero of mine. But just to describe the powerfulness, the, the incredible 
drive and energy at 65. Let me tell you something. Another thing I don't like is you're, you know, you're telling me I'm a bigot. You're a fucking bigot. You're age discrimination bigot. Okay. Because let me tell you something, ratso, public access, ratso, fatso, douchebag. If you're lucky enough, and that goes for the rest of you little fucking punks out there, you little young pussies out there, goes for the rest of you. If you're lucky enough to reach my age, because anything can happen from now until, until let's say, my age, 65, you can come down with cancer, you can come down with a heart attack, you could come down with this disease and that disease. I like to see you talk shit then when you're dead about age discrimination with me. That I'm this old man. Because let me tell you something. I'm a fast approaching my golden years. But before I do that, and I'm in my golden years right now. I'm just outside the realm. Okay? I'm still a young man in life. But you people obviously don't know that because you're just a bunch of fucking losers and retards that are being manipulated and hypnotized because Matt Connington is such a certified hypnotist. Let's see if you reach my age. Let's see if you can make it. And then you could talk stupid shit then, okay? I made it, Joe. I made it, Joe. Let's see if you could really make it to my age. Because let me tell you something. I'm alive and kicking right now and I'm kicking some serious ass at my age and I'm doing the young man's thing with this fucking internet and shows and all that shit. But I am extraordinary. My friend told me I had the energy and the drive of Donald Trump who happens to be a homeboy of mine. He's a Queens guy like I am. A New York City guy like I am. Taxi tested tough. People that will rip you from fucking limb to limb. Okay? You are the pussy fucking bitches. And you're white trash. And you know you are. And I'm a fucking winner. And Donald Trump is a winner. I was going to say Howard. Not no more. He's sucking your dick now for fucking milk money. Ha ha ha!